GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. GIS is a computer-based system that allows for the storage of the location of real-world features, along with information related to those features, enabling map creation and data management. GIS gathers data useful to communities and local governments, often using GPS, or Global Positioning Systems. Overlays of different features at the same location can allow for analysis of relationships between features and custom solutions to issues. GIS can be used to map infrastructure such as water and sewer pipes, water valves, fire hydrants, and gas lines so that they can be easily found in an emergency or for repair. It can also be used to map roads and culverts, homes and structures, even sidewalks, trees, and boundaries including service districts, tax parcels, zoning, and water bodies. We've used GPS to map out our fire hydrants, so through our I Am Responding program, we can find them in the winter when we have a lot of snow cover and the hydrants haven't been cleared out or we've had a snowfall overnight and they've just gotten covered up again. We can look at our app on our phone and get a general idea of where that hydrant is so we can uncover it. It's very useful for, for new members to look at that and say, okay, I'm here, this is where the hydrant's supposed to be, and go from there. Uh, last year we had a very cold winter. We experienced some frozen water lines, and we used our GIS to uh, locate the water valves in order to repair them in a timely fashion so that we could get back to uh, maintaining our roads as far as removal of snow and ice. We had a fire last winter in our village and there was a lot of snow. We had to remove the snow to get to the water valve. We were unable to get to the water valve with a payloader because of the fire hoses that were stretched out in the fire scene. We were able to have a DPW worker dig down to the water valve using a GPS and within five minutes we were able to shut the water off. By using GPS and GIS, we're able to use less labor and less equipment, eliminating unnecessary digging. There are different ways that communities can utilize GIS, especially in emergency response. One example is the town of Huntington in New York State. During Hurricane Sandy, they had a lot of trees that were down and they utilized a mobile GIS application as well as an online GIS application. With a mobile application, they were able to go out, record where the trees are down on the roads to see what roads are hit the hardest and the online application was utilized to show the public where they were working on the roads to clear the trees from, so then the public was well informed. Several computer applications utilize GIS and GPS within them. One example is Cartograph, which is an asset management software program uh, that a lot of the towns in the area are utilizing to track their labor costs, where their infrastructure is located, how many truck hours are being utilized, and what those costs are. Another popular GIS application is the I Am Responding program that helps personnel respond to emergency situations. You can either use it on your computer, your phone, and you don't have to have a smartphone to use it. It helps our officers and our other members of the department know who's responding, where they're responding to, and if they can't make it, then they can know how much mutual aid to call for help. GIS can also assist with FEMA reporting. When a state of emergency is declared, GIS helps affected communities keep track of activities and costs, whether it is miles of roads plowed, trees and electrical lines downed, or number of man hours to complete repairs. GIS makes reporting and reimbursement of such costs faster and easier. And GIS helps locate buried infrastructure faster in emergency situations and increases public safety. GIS is a big step into the future for most towns but I believe it's, it's a good idea only because there's turnover in as far as superintendent's elections. And a lot of times the uh, superintendent will leave with most of the knowledge in his head, whereas nowadays we can get it onto the computer and, and it'll always be there. It's like having a really skilled employee with you. Interested in seeing how GIS and GPS can benefit your community? Contact the New York State GIS Association. They'll help you get started on the road to implementing a GIS system in your community.